Meet Akira Tendo, a carefree lad who seems unbothered by zombies and the end of the world. After an outbreak plagued the city, he quit his job to live life to the fullest and fulfill his bucket list alongside his friend Kencho and his crush, Shizuka and Beatrix. Together, all four of them set out to achieve the impossible and bring an end to this horrible ordeal. Akira joined the corporate world, seeking to make a name for himself, but quickly realised the harsh environment workers had to deal with. After a few years of working there, his life became miserable, and everything seemed dark and gloomy, until one day, the zombie apocalypse took over and his emotions burst onto the scene in a colourful array of dazzling light and scenery. Once he was set free from his shackles, he started his bucket list by confessing to Saori, a colleague he once fell in love with, who was now a zombie. Afterward, he went back home and decided to chill with some cold beer, only to find none in the fridge. Devastated, he decided to climb down the chimney and cycle to the supermarket. A bold decision for a young chap. Fortunately, that is where he met Shizuka, the fearless Samaritan who saved him from a perilous accident. On his way back, he couldn't help but wonder whether he'd meet her again. Shizuka, on the other hand, was a meticulous woman who focused on survival and nothing else. Her goal was to minimise risk and having a boyfriend was the last thing on her mind. Meanwhile, the city was being overrun by zombies and there seemed no end to their carnage. Akira was running out of things to do at home and started getting bored to the point of exhaustion. However, the network suddenly appeared, bringing back the excitement he yearned for. He quickly searched through his contacts looking for a survivor and called his old buddy Kensho, who was tied up at the moment. Zombies had invaded the building and he was stuck in a pleasure room waiting for rescue. Akira quickly headed there with his new motorbike and made a scene to distract the zombies away from the building. They both headed to the roof when the zombies came back and had no choice but to make the leap of faith. Akira broke the ice and Tendo followed suit. They started reminiscing about the past and rekindled their passion under the moonlight. They both head on back to Akira's rooftop, where Kencho is seen cooking a delicious breakfast, and Akira blows off some steam by playing a zombie hunting game. Quite ironic, given the situation. Afterward, they head out on their bike looking for new activities when they run into a major problem that almost took their life. Luckily, Akira's quick thinking helped them escape underground where they met four survivors hiding from the zombies. Three of them were flight attendants while the silent man kept shivering. They started bonding over some snacks while Akira and Kencho tried making a move on the ladies. Unfortunately, Akira struck out, but Kencho hit the jackpot. In order to impress the girls, Akira chugged down an entire bottle of tequila in one sip causing him to vomit incessantly. The man was apparently bitten by a zombie and started attacking everyone indiscriminately. Kencho's girl, after having a great time with him, was sadly bitten and Akira's soon followed. Realising that it was over, they grabbed a huge TV, which was one of Akira's bucket list, and hit the road, off to their next adventure. The following day, Akira explains to Kencho how he has always been fascinated by heroes and would like to be one before the world collapses. Kencho supports his dream since he came through for him and gave him a place to stay. They both head to a shark aquarium where Akira picks up a suit resistant to their bites. If a shark couldn't penetrate the suit, there's no way a zombie could. He made some custom adjustments and went to the street to save as many people as he could. Meanwhile, he met Shizuka who was trying to escape the mob and all the remaining survivors camped inside the aquarium. Akira tries to make a move, but Shizuka criticises his recklessness and makes it apparent that she wants nothing to do with him. Little did they know, one of the sharks was turned into a walking zombie and started terrorising everyone. While running away, a lady intentionally pulls down on Shizuka, leaving her behind as a decoy. Given the tenacity and ferocity of the shark, she loses hope but is rescued by Akira, and using their teamwork, they defeat the shark with an electric punch. Despite their recent victories, things started looking bleak. Their water had run out, and there was a city-wide blackout. Left with no choice, 
Akira convinces Kencho to visit his hometown, and he agrees. They pack light and head out in search of an RV. Coincidentally, Shizuka had the same idea and they met up on the street. Akira kept begging her to join them, but Shizuka adamantly refused to be a part of their gang. While they were scouting for luxurious RVs to take with them, zombies invaded the shop forcing all three to promptly jump into one and drive out. Kencho was on a bike given his love for freedom while Akira tried bonding with Shizuka as much as he could. Unfortunately, there were spikes on the road which deterred their travel and gravely injured Kencho. Apparently, it was set up by Akira's old boss, Kusugi, who makes him an offer to come back and work for him in return for giving him safe passage and medication for Kencho. Akira agrees and begins to slave off as usual to return the favour. Kusugi has been using this method to gather more slaves to build his empire. He has even gone to the lengths of enslaving zombies and doesn't seem to be slowing down. While Akira is working hard, everyone else seems to be enjoying their time sipping a cold glass of beer. Kusugi tries to boss Shizuka around by forcing her to pour him a glass while he tries to make a move on her. Luckily, Akira's clumsiness draws his attention and he starts screaming at him. Shizuka starts recalling her childhood and how she grew up with a strict dad who shaped her into an emotionless robot. Her father tried to eradicate any and all distractions from her life, which included feelings for animals or boys. Akira, on the other hand, started spiralling into his old habits of insecurity and worry and seemed to be losing it. When it came time to leave, Akira was brainwashed and couldn't decide for himself and had to be convinced by Shizuka, who threw his notebook at him, reminding him why he had come this far. Suddenly, zombies attacked, leaving everyone in a state of disarray. Once again, Akira used his quick thinking to save everyone, giving them the courage they all needed to leave Kosugi and his dictatorship. While on the road, they spot a truck which was surrounded by zombies and Akira jumped out to save the survivors inside. Lo and behold, a samurai got out and started slashing the zombies in clean, precise strikes. They were left speechless when the samurai was revealed to be a girl, Beatrix, a tourist who came to Japan to learn more about the culture and was on a crusade to eat the finest sushi available. She explained to them how she was delivering fish to a restaurant that offered to make her sushi and asked for their help to get it there safely. They concurred and led the way. However, things weren't going to be that easy, and zombies were seen blocking the path. Akira and Beatrix tried fighting, but they were greatly outnumbered. Shizuka came up with a plan, and using the help of Kencho, they burned all the zombies to a crisp. They delivered the fish and were delighted to an amazing dinner that brought both Beatrix and Shizuka to tears. Afterward, they headed to a hot spring to shower and relax from all the accumulated fatigue. Beatrix was completely fascinated by the scenery and wasn't shy to join the boys in the common bathtub either. Even so, luck was not on their side and they were forced to flee once again due to the zombies. Although the anime is still ongoing, I do hope this interests you checking it out. You should be caught up to episode 9. I hope you all enjoyed this phenomenal gem of an anime. I'll leave the ending up for you to experience. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to stay updated on more amazing content.